turn toward me and look so weak I've never seen you with such tired eyes And everything we said we'd be We just traded for a suit coat and a tie What is up guys, Levi Peterson here. Today, we are at PetSmart with my brother, Titus Peterson, go subscribe to him. Um, right now, uh, I'm planning on getting some koi and maybe a couple goldfish for the fish pond. Cause our fine pond over the winter uh, froze like completely. And I was just at my, my local fish store, Northside Aquatics, and got a job there. So super excited right now. Um, well, I'm like overly excited if I'm honest with you. Um, I was about to say. So we're gonna go get some goldfish. My brother's here to get a heater. That's why we came. So let's get to it. One of these, but we're gonna wait on that for right now because I need to save some money. Um, I was thinking about an angelfish too, but I said no on that too. So we're gonna go ahead and head over to the goldfish side of the store. I'm definitely getting this goldfish right here. It has so many colors. Um, I think that's all I'm gonna get from here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and save some fish from Walmart, and possibly get a koi from Walmart. I was thinking about getting an angelfish, but not today. I'll save that for next time. Okay, guys. Um, I tried to buy that goldfish, but okay. So the lady's like, asked if I was 18 for some reason. She said. It's their policy that they can't sell fish to a minor, which is kind of dumb. It makes no sense at all. Am I right? Like, I bought fish there up. before, and they've never said anything. And now I see this super dope goldfish, and they wouldn't want me to buy it, which is so dumb. So I'm a little ticked off, but I'm just going to run over here to Walmart real quick and go from there. So, guys, we're at Walmart because PetSmart was being mean with us. Um... They don't have as much fish as I thought they were going to have in today. Uh, but they do have a couple cool goldfish. And their angelfish are only three ninety seven. dollars might get two of these guys. So we'll, we'll look on that. Better look into that. Then we'll probably get a couple goldfish here. There we go. Yes. What is up, guys? I'm back. Um, we just got out of Walmart. We got some cups and more fish. Um, we got a koi. Gold. How many gold? One goldfish. They look pretty sweet because they wouldn't let us buy them at uh, PetSmart. And then we got this cool platy. Then I got a silver dollar. Super hyped about that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get home and get these fish. Alright guys, we are finally home. Um, took a little bit longer than I expected because late took a while to get the fish. Um, I just redid this tank today. It kind of looks like a forest. I think it's pretty sweet actually. But um, the fish that we got today, there's uh, one going, well two. We got a koi and goldfish. And then that, I don't even really know what that is. It just looked cool. Um, the koi and goldfish are going in there because our pond like completely froze through. Um, we're going to go check for survivors a little bit later. Um, so we got the silver dollar and an angel fish in here. Um, super excited about that. There's plenty of room. Um, a lot of people ask why this tank is so dark. It's because they have a big thing of driftwood in there, and it kind of makes the water like tints the water a little bit. Uh, next week, I plan on taking it all down halfway again, doing a 50 percent water change. It should clear it up again, but it's going to be a while before it looks like this clean right here. 
other than that, uh, we're going to go ahead and let these fish go after they're done acclimating. And I'm going to get on the video and I'm going to give you a little more insight on what's going on. Okay, guys, um, I just let the koi and the goldfish go. I'm going to get back there in a second. So, there's the koi and the new goldfish. Their color kind of went away a little bit. But there's, it's a nice addition to this new tank. Or this little, little small pond that I have in here that's in a tote. I'm going to add a little bit more water into it for the koi. I mean, there's plenty in there, but I just want a little bit more depth to it. Um, the other fish kind of like to tend to hide under the shade. For some reason, I have no clue why. So, I think I have like eight goldfish in there now. I'm not going to... I'll probably... If we're going to go down to the pond today and see if we have any fish survivors. And if we do, I'm going to have to put the goldfish in here for right now until we get that pond figured out. Because that pond was just wrecked. I'll show you this towards the end of this video. Um, and then we got the silver dollar and stuff that we have to put in pretty soon. Because they're not looking too good. Well, they're looking fine. It's just going to rest in a little bit. So, we're going to go ahead and let these guys go. Alright, so, I think... It said this was a platy or something. I don't think it is. It looks more like a molly type thing. Really, actually, really don't know what it is. But there it is. You can close up right there. Get a bit in the net. Pretty sweet looking fish. Sorry for that glare. I'll try. All right, there he goes. Thing's pretty sweet looking. All right. All right. So now, guys, we're releasing the silver dollar and the uh, angelfish. Um, the angelfish were three dollars cheaper. Than the ones at PetSmart. So I'm going to go ahead and get this guy out of here. Because this silver dollar is flipping out right now. So I'm going to get this angel out. Angelfish is now in the aquarium. Um, it's going to take a little bit for him to adjust. And I'm really excited to uh, get this get this tank going. Because get Well that's probably going to be the centerpiece fish. I might get more eventually in the future. But we'll have to see. So now, I'm going to go ahead and grab the bigger net, and we're going to get the silver dollar out of this bag and into the aquarium. Alright, so now I'm trying to get this guy out of here because he is flipping out right now. I kind of feel bad. He's been through a lot because the lady that was trying to catch him took forever and was being really mean to him. So we're going to go ahead and get this guy out, and then we're going to go down to the pond and see if we got any fish survivors from the winter. So here we go. Try not to get as much water as I can from the Walmart bag into my aquarium. He's in there, and he is officially out of the net, and he is now in the aquarium. That is like the biggest tetra kind of fish I've ever had in my whole life. He's probably going to flip out for a little while. Oh shoot, I better get this bag out before much water gets in. Well, guys, I want to thank you for watching my video, and um, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you the pond, actually, real quick. Um, me and my brother did go out there and look, and there was no survivors. Um, here, I'll try to show you right here. It's right there. It's like, it was like completely frozen. There's probably maybe a foot left um, of water, and we couldn't really get a hole down there until we released the gases, so I think the gases is what killed the fish. Um... So here we are at the 55. Um, we got the the angelfish is right there. And then we got the platy. And I have no clue where the silver dollar went right now. Um, so they're, they're all doing good. Um, so that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. And I'll catch you next time. See you soon.